we, we've kind of come to a rather unhappy state of affairs in this country, I think, where we feel that, that responsibility can only be exercised in Washington, and it's Washington that somehow is the final arbiter of, of what's going to happen and what needs to be done. If, if this president is trying to change anything in the domestic scene, it's, it's to change that concept. Now let's consider how that's applied to broadcasting. Just because we think that the federal government shouldn't enforce a standard, uh, just because the f we in the White House don't try to, to identify and define who are the elitists and what's gossip and what's plugola and what's not, is not because those things don't exist. I wouldn't have given the speech that I did in Indianapolis if, if there wasn't some concern that these things do from time to time and in various places exist. The question that I have to address in my responsibility in Washington is what is the federal system whereby these abuses will be checked? Now, if you want to argue that there are no abuses, that none of this exists, that the broadcasting industry is somehow perfect or is somehow above criticism, then you can ignore the rest of my remarks. But if you feel that the profession of broadcasting should concern itself with self-improvement, should concern itself with finding uh, where the professionalism is not being lived up to, and should take corrective measures, then it seems to me you have to ask yourself where those corrective measures should come from.